the rule actually means, uh, but this exhibition is it anyway. Um, I'm not going to talk any longer, I'm going to introduce you to Tiriki Onus, who is going to say a few words, and then to Richard Franklin, who is going to formally open the show. So thanks Tiriki, thanks Richard. Thank you Suzanne, and uh, thank you Michael and Dan and Nick and Colin and everyone else here at Magnet. It's been a dream uh, that I've long had, and I know I've shared with, with Michael and others, that we would Not eventually yet. find a way for uh, for Willard and Magnet to do something together and we're really excited uh, to finally be here and to be, to be sharing all of the fantastic visual artists that we have uh, at the Victorian College of the Arts. So I want to thank you all so much for, for coming but, but most of all, because I know he's going to run off to another event, I want to thank our, uh, our head of the, uh, of the Willard Centre down at Victorian College of the Arts, Richard Franklin, and ask him to give acknowledgement and to formally open the show. Thanks, Thank you very much. Um, my name is Richard Franklin. I'm a Gundi Jamara fellow, which means land of the beautiful people. <coughs> Just let you drink that in for a moment. Um, I've uh, been at the Willen Centre for almost two years now and had a tremendous time. But I want to welcome uh, you here, but I want to acknowledge country on behalf of uh, for all of us. Uh, we stand on the shoulders of 2,000 generations of grandmothers and grandfathers and we live under the spectre, spectre of a, and structure of an invasion. It's not something you just get over. It's something which sits over you and every day you struggle for voice. So I'd like to acknowledge the dead. I'd like to acknowledge the atrocities of the past. I'd like to acknowledge the warriors of the here and now. And I'd like to acknowledge the pathway that the legacy that we've inherited in building a pathway to the future. That being said, I'd like to talk about the role of art and in particular the people that are using their art as a voice here. I was up the river country last week facilitating treaty forums on behalf of the working group, the interim working group, who were nominated uh, both by community and others to try and build a pathway towards a treaty in this nation. We're the only Commonwealth nation without a treaty. There's been a lot of people calling out for a treaty for many years and they've done a great job. We've been to five communities now and heard the voice of people. Grandmothers who are financially and culturally responsible for multiple generations and some of these people are artists. I've heard the voice of young men and women who are looking for a future. I've heard the voice of frontline workers and I've seen great warriors out there, people who save lives. I've seen people who work in communities where there's 11 suicides in 11 months of young people. These are people who work in a community where it's more likely for young men to go to jail than it is to university, more likely for young men and women to die at their own hand than achieve a career or have a family or build a future. Someone said to me, what's a treaty? I said, a treaty to me is about acknowledging the atrocities of the past. It's about recognising the cultural loads of here, us, here in the present. And it's about a contract with tomorrow. It's forever business. It's about changing the cultural tapestry of a nation. And that's the legacy that's in your hands and in my hands. We have an opportunity to change the cultural tapestry of a nation. We have an opportunity to shape the very identity of a nation. And one of the contributing factors and the saving graces that we have, despite the fact that we have a man like Trump being elevated to such powerful heights, we have the opportunity to bind together, to bind together and to make each other strong, to sit at the table as stakeholders, to sit at the table as equals, to have the courage to recognise the past for what it is, to plant seeds here in the present for future generations. At Willen, we believe that when you have art, you have voice, and when you have voice, you have freedom, and with freedom comes responsibility. 
And we have to ask ourselves, are we being responsible with our freedom? When I look at the artists that are here, and the artists that are under the umbrella of Willen, what I see are artists with the potential to contribute to the cultural tapestry of a nation. When I see them, I encourage them. I say to them, what's your trial? They tell me. I then say, name a resistance fighter from your tribe, from your people. And they go away and come back if they don't know and they tell me. And then I say to them, name a battle site. And they go and every time seek out a battle site from the past. Rarely do they look around and recognise the fact that we are in a battle site. And the greatest battle we fight is attitude. And we can change attitude with symbols, images and sounds. And that's why the role that Michael and Suzanne play is so vital to our nation. That's why the role of our ten artists is so vital to our nation, to our past and future. That's why your role as participants, appreciators of their art is so vital. Because you take that attitude home and you challenge the inner racist, you challenge a racist in your family and you challenge a racist in your community. And when you have no one to challenge, that means that we've won and Donald Trump has lost. And he will lose. We survived others. He will lose and we will always win. So, with no, uh, no more to say, I'd like to say thank you uh, just a little bit more to Tiriki and Eugenia. Where is she? She's uh, left the umbrella of Willem, but she's never going to escape. Uh, thank you very much for the great work. Uh, to the rest of the Willem group, thank you very, very much for all your work. Uh, where's Barry, our dean? Uh, thank you very much uh, for looking after Willem. And uh, I know that sometimes it's under great duress, and I apologise for all the embarrassing times that I bring to you. <laughs> and I do promise there'll be more to come. Um, <laughs> and I'd like to also uh, uh, thank um, our ten artists, and I'm just going to read their names out. Um, they're very special people. Some uh, pay me money to say that they're special. Uh, Eugenia Flynn, who's a, a great uh, writer and uh, uh, recently became an executive officer uh, down in Collingwood working in a community organisation and we're very proud of you Eugenia, very sorry that you've gone. Uh, Tiri Giannis who um, keeps claiming just because he made it. <laughs> 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 done a tremendous job and uh, it's, it's absolutely exceptional. The price has gone up a bit. Uh, <laughs> Nadab who uh, is one of our shining um, PhD students who's a tremendous artist and uh, one of those grandmothers I spoke about who's culturally and financially responsible for multiple generations, not just up and down but to the side. So she has a, a massive cultural load and does it, looks after many, many people. Uh, we're very grateful that we've got her. Ashley Perry, Kylie Thorpe, uh, Stephen Payton is here somewhere. Uh, can't see. He's, uh, Oh, Kylie's there too. Oh, there you are. Thank you very much for all the work you've done. And you don't visit us enough at the Willen Centre, so I'll be coming into your class to embarrass you. <laughs> uh, Sam Harrison, who's been on a massive journey, and I'm very proud of him. Um, he's a Gamirla Roy fella, and uh, with a bit of luck, we'll be going home to your country together, where I can embarrass you in front of your elders. <laughs> and Marley Holloway Clark, who's a filmmaker, artist, all sorts of things. And we're very lucky to have these uh, tremendous artists. Just on another note, We've got, um, now we've got about eight applications for PA Aboriginal PhD and Master's students and we've got about 50 plus uh, undergrad ap applications. We're trying to get about 100 bums on seats within the next couple of years. We're going to black out the VCA and MCM. So, and I'm eyeing off Barry's job. <laughs> so thank you very much and over to Barry. Cheers. Oh, I... <laughs> Now you know what it's like to have this man. <laughs> uh, all I want to say is, first of all, thanks to the gallery. It's fantastic because uh, uh, we know Willen uh, into the middle, in the heart, literally the, the centre of the campus down at South Bank. But to have the artists come into the big smoke, into the city, across the river, uh, and have a, a forum that's uh, special uh, and uh, causes people to see us in a, in a new way. Thank you very much for making the, uh, the gallery available. I don't think I need to say anything about all these guys. 
that I have the pleasure of working with. Uh, we have, uh, as you can hear, we, we are always very serious and dour, uh, and uh, uh, there's uh, never any light, never any humour, um, and uh, we, uh, we, we don't have any fun at all, do we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, it, but it is uh, terrific, the, the, I was just saying uh, to another guest here that uh, six years, nearly six years ago when I arrived uh, at the uh, VCA, the Willen Centre almost didn't exist. And it's because of people like the artists here, and of course with Richard and Turkey, that we've now, within those six years, risen again and, and carried the fight even greater now. And every time I see Turkey on the tram, he's going to see the Premier or the Minister. Uh, and, and the treaty has become a symbol of, of how much we can influence not only the artists of this country, but everybody. So, uh, Tiriki, Richard, all of you, uh, thank you very much. It's really a pleasure to work with you. Thank you very much. Um, last word from me. You can buy the, the work that is in this gallery today. Some of it. Some of it. Um, <laughs> if you're interested in buying one of the artworks, this is your friend, this is the price list, and it's on the plinth just in the entrance, very close to the glasses of wine, so you can't possibly miss it. <laughs> um, no, you cannot buy the club. Richard Franklin seems to think he owns it. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I made it uh, poor. Tiriki knows he owns it. Exactly. It's a family attack. Um, yeah. So if, if, you're, if you're interested in, in making a purchase, please come and see me and I will help you. Thank you very much, everyone. Yes, I'm going to